Hey guys, uh, I got something interesting that I want to get on tape today as I try to troubleshoot this. Got home uh, this morning, pulled into the garage, and went to shift uh, into the park. And this is what I'm getting. I mean, I've got I've got the uh, trigger fully depressed, and it just simply will not go into park. <clears throat> and of course, you'll notice uh, I can't put it into the key into the off position, but uh, I can shift into drive into the uh, manual selection. So let's take a look, see what's going on. It'll go from neutral to drive and back but will not go into uh, reverse or uh, park. So we're going to take a look at this and find out what's going on with this uh, bad boy. First thing I did was set the emergency brake because I don't want this rolling out of uh, the garage and uh, I'm going to grab some tools and I'll be right back. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is check to make sure my brake lights are on. Um, I've got a wooden dowel here. I've got it propped up to uh, push the brakes uh, since it's just me. Let's go back here and take a look. Yep. I can definitely say the brake lights are working. Okay. Brake lights are good. And the reason I'm uh, checking that is uh, the newer vehicles will not shift out of park or back into park if the brake switch is bad or something's wrong with the brake lights. So that rules uh, one simple piece out. Um, I don't have anything on the message system besides low battery. I'm going to go ahead and hook my battery charger up to it. Uh, and that's primarily because it's been stuck in the uh, accessory to slash run position because I can't turn the vehicle off. So let me get my battery charger and I'll show you how I'm going to hook that up. All right, be right back with you. Okay, we're in the back of the XC90 now. Um, what you want to do to get to your battery is your back cover here. Usually, if you have a fifth row, you have your fold out seats here, and then the very back. Pull this up. And what you can do is down here, disconnect your cables. Okay. And then this tray right here should pull right out. You got to get it around your little uh, knobs there. Just pull it out, get it out of the way. Okay. All right. Once you have the uh, fasteners removed from this side, this side, and your little nut down here, this will pull up and out. Just set that aside. Then you've got your plastic cover here, which will just lift right out. Just set that aside and then you'll have access to your positive and your negative it's interesting looking at this battery definitely a dealer battery or at least a Volvo um, all right anyways uh, Gonna hook up my positive. And then my negative. And I'll set this guy to a slow charge. Now, I 
let's go take a look at the interior of uh, the vehicle. Alright, I cannot get it into reverse or park. Let's see. But I can start it with the selector in neutral. Brake pedal down. Works fine. Okay. Let's go ahead and turn it off. Just for giggles. I'm going to release the brake pedal. Try it again. Nothing. All right. Well, let's get this off. Um, the way we're gonna do that, get some of my, my stuff out of the way. Okay. Take my handy dandy bone tool, which is this guy right here. It's just a, um, I don't know, plastic soft edge. Uh, helps to not uh, mar or scratch anything up. I'll slip it up under here. There we go. There's that one edge. We should have another edge right over here. There we go. And now that is free. So I don't have to take this off. I'm going to see if I can see what's going on. See if I can see anything funky down there. Open. Maybe there was a penny or a quarter. Or something. Alright. Let's see if we can see anything. You know, looking at that gear shift, that sure is it's almost like this is broken. Hmm. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and take the gear knob off. Okay, how we're going to take the gear knob off? Um, there is a plastic at the top. Well, at the bottom of the, the knob, in the top of the boot here, there is a plastic ring that goes around this entire thing that uh, sits on the legs. And what you can do 
is get a little screwdriver, pry it in there, and typically pull, push down like that to, to release it. And once you do that, the whole thing should slide down. Let me get my flashlight. I don't know if you can see that little plastic ring in there, but it sits up sits on these little teeth right here of the gear shifter. And the way the gear shift comes out is you give it a firm tug up and I'm going to have to use both hands for this. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get it on video. I'll try. There we go. Okay. <laughs> um, it comes straight up. Takes a little bit of a tug. But uh, there you go. You can see how it comes out. Now one thing I want to look at is this guy. Let me get my flashlight. There's our plastic ring that uh, goes up under the knob and secures the boot to the knob. We'll leave that there. Now let's see. If I'm lucky, there's something obstructing. I don't, I don't see any quarters or pennies. So it has to be in this guy. Seems to. I don't know if y'all can see. Uh, let me get it. There we go. That's a little bit better. The plunger action seems to be working, but I wonder if it's not 
pulling it enough. Uh, see if we can get a good sh uh, shot down the shaft. And I don't see any, you know, like there's coffee or something spilled down in there. Or some kind of Coke or Sprite. Very interesting. I see a little bit right there on, on like the bezel uh, of the shifter, but... I don't see anything that would indicate it's gummed up or sticky down in here. And I don't have any uh, DTC codes in the uh, PCM or even the transmission control module. So it's very weird that this thing just started doing this. <sighs> hmm. I don't see any of the connections loose. In fact, I'll, I'll try to wiggle some of these. One thing I want to uh, mention, this uh, clip piece that fits under the rim of the boot here, you want to make sure that this key part uh, right here, I don't know if you can see that, there's one side of it that has this part, the other side is smooth. You always want that facing the front of the vehicle when you put it on the underside of here and let me show you how it works yeah, if I can do this you've got your your shifter knob like that and when you have the boot Figures. It'll slide into place like that, and you just push it all the way up uh, to have it lock in place. But let me get this uh, reseated, and I'll be right back. Okay, I think I figured out what the problem was. It's the actual uh, shifting mechanism that's inside of here. After, uh, I, I didn't mount it or anything, but after fiddling with it, this piece right here fell out of it. Fell out of the inner portion here, and I'll try to bend it up uh, so I can get you a shot of what's going on in there. Uh, let's see. 
down inside. It's kind of hard to explain. There's a channel at this rod, the inner part inside of here, that has like a a hook like that. So when you push the button, um, it maneuvers or it pulls. Well, right now it's it's in the stuck position, which is what I was getting just a minute ago. Uh, and since that channel is broken, it's not moving the bar up to do, to uh, disengage the shift lock. But if I wiggle it, there we go. You'll notice now it's functioning properly. Um, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and leave this out. The the VEDA system for Volvo says that these uh, shifters can be used up to a max reused, um, meaning uh, removed from the console and reinserted up to a total of four times. And I don't I don't ever think this one's been removed, but I just think over you know the last seven or eight years. This is a 2004 that uh, it finally just gave it up. So I think what I'll do is I'll go ahead and reinstall this so I can, so I can at least get it in park and uh, turn the vehicle off and I'll just go ahead and order a new uh, shift knob. Uh, I'm sure that's probably a hundred or two hundred dollar part. I don't know, we'll see. Uh, anyways, uh, I'll be back with you when the uh, part comes in. Alright. Also, I wanted to uh, show you, I just put the old one in. And now, I when I put it in, I made sure that it was on the, the guide. Uh, so that now, the button can fully depress. And it's, it's actuating the shift a lot. Uh, dis or, sorry, disengaging it. So now, uh, with it in to position, uh, proper position, it is shifting in and out. Uh, I'm going to tell my wife not to drive it. I mean, it should be pretty apparent. I mean, I've got it torn up. I did not put the, the boot ring back in, uh, just because here in a couple of days when I get the part, I'm just going to be pulling this back out anyways. But at least now, I, I can put it into park, and I can shut the vehicle off, and the battery won't be draining. Alright, well good. At least we found that. Uh, it is a little broken piece inside of the uh, shift lever. So, as soon as that new part comes in... Um, I'll, I'll go ahead and walk through, you know, properly, no, not properly, but basically reinstalling it. You just, just stab it down in there and give it a good tap so it seats. But uh, when it comes in, I'll, I'll get a video of installing a new part and we'll be good to go. I don't want to risk driving it right now, or especially my wife driving it, and she pull into a parking spot and then all of a sudden not be able to... Uh, get it in and out of gear that would, <laughs> that would definitely be a phone call at work I wouldn't want to get so uh, anyways um, for you it should be instantaneous but for me it'll be a couple of days uh, I'll talk to you soon bye hey gang um, the part finally came in uh, it's about a <clears throat> believe it or not a day later it's a out of a, a dealership here in uh, Dallas, but I uh, want to give you the part number, which is 8675628, and it is the gear shift lever um, <clears throat> for my uh, XC90. Let's take a look at it. Let's open it up. Make sure it's the, uh, the right one, because they have uh, different trim packages for these. Some come with uh, just plastic gear shift levers, 
Um, others come with uh, some type of wood inlay, and then mine has the uh, the uh, aluminum package, which is you know this guy right here. Um, but yeah, that that looks like the uh, the one. And I noticed that uh, the profile of of this trigger is, is definitely correct. Mine, the one that is uh, currently in the car, you know, sticks out. A little bit further, and you can definitely tell it's broken. But uh, let's look at the—I yeah, mean, you can see a, a positive pull on this uh, gear shift lever. So, yep, that's going to be—it's uh, going to be awesome. Well, let me get uh, let me get my gloves on, and uh, we'll go ahead and install this bad boy. Make sure it fixes my problem. And just out of giggles, uh, I'll go ahead and compare the old one to the new one. Uh, but this should fix it. See you in the car. Hey guys, um, I did get the new shifter installed. And I wanted to uh, make sure I got it on there and it fit right. And it was uh, exactly as I, I needed it to be before I finished off this video. And I could give you some good information. Um... Basically, what I ended up doing was once I seated the, the new shifter, uh, and the new shifter does come pre-greased, um, so you don't have to worry about that. It has a little wrapping on it that you pull off and you set in there, but what I ended up doing, just so that I could get a better hand on it, and I'll show you, let me go ahead and pop this back out, I ended up... Uh, removing this uh, wood trim or veneer trim whatever it is around the center portion and the way I did that let's see if I can get you a, a good shot is up under here try to get some light on it you've got these little clips You've got these little clips, four of them. Here's one in the back corner. And you've got one over here, and then one in the front, and then one on this side in the front. That once you pull away, like that, and I got this other side. Then get this back one. There we go. Okay. I'm gonna try. Okay, you see how, let me get you set up, see how it dislodges it from there. Now, I can remove this portion out of the way, and now I just have uh, this portion that I'm dealing with. And what I found was um, right here, let me see get you a good shot of it. You have two connectors two connectors down here one here for your uh, Triptronic uh, manual shift then one down here for your gear selection. I left those in place but I did have little bitty white zip ties. These these little guys right there holding this wire to right there and holding that wire right there so before I took my uh, wood trim off I uh, snipped those loose and pulled them out uh, just so this was no longer physically attached with the zip tie then I was able let me go ahead and shift it into neutral put the emergency brake on I was able to 
pull this all the way up. And that's important. That is important because up under here, i try to angle you uh, to where you can have a fairly decent shot of this. Yeah, that's pretty good. Right here where your gear shifter is, um, up under here, you have your rubber boot that has to fit around these prongs, and I'll, I'll show you the old gear shifter so you know what I'm talking about. We'll grab that real quick. Here's the old uh, shifter right here, and you can see just by the profile how the trigger was broken and was not actuating the, the shaft uh, to disengage the shift lock. Uh, but you'll see these little tabs down here. The leather boot, the top portion of it, has to fit snugly uh, right up against this. Just just for cosmetic reasons. It has nothing to do with your mechanical uh, shifting. Once this is seated into place and tapped down, uh, you're good to go. You can leave the shift boot loose uh, if you don't want to mess with it or if your plastic ring broke. But let me show you that. Right under here, let's see how good of a shot I can get. You'll see the plastic ring, this guy right here, that fits up over those tangs, and then it keeps a nice consistent um, edge around the bottom of your, your shift boot. And like I said, that's just cosmetic, uh, has nothing to do with the mechanical function of your, your shifter, so you don't have to do that. Uh, I found that. The easiest way to do it was to uh, this plastic part. Once I got this all the way up, as far as I could extend it, and then I made sure the bottom portion of the rubber, or sorry, the leather boot was contacting the bottom of the shift lever, and it was over those tangs, and the tangs were sticking out below here. Uh, I found that if I took this plastic ring and I angled it up like that and then started this front side first, popped it into place, I could use one hand to hold the shifter down uh, because as you push up it's going to disengage the shifter so it can come up and out. But uh, once I did that, um, I would use one hand, hold the shifter down, and then with my other hand, I would come up under here and just push it up on there. And you, you hear a positive click, a snap into place. And once that's done, all you have to do is just uh, reassemble, reassemble your trim pieces and you're done. And that's that's pretty easy. Um, just take your, your wood trim here uh, and just snap your plastic pieces get you you, know, you just snap your your plastic piece back into place uh, this guy right here let me get my finger out of the way there we go there's that side and it's the same on the other side over here There we go. Then once it's in place, you've got it all put together. Uh, you can just reassemble uh, your trim piece here. And this this goes down into this section over here. And then you can just put it into place. And then you can maneuver your, your boot any way you want. Uh, and you're set. There you go. Your shifter lever is fixed. And again, this is um, 
I knew that this was the piece that needed to be replaced after checking some preliminary stuff like making sure the, the parking brakes worked when I pressed the pedal because when you press the pedal it disengages your shift lock mechanism down here allowing you to move it in and out of uh, gear uh, so if that's malfunctioning then you need to uh, dig a little further into your your brake switch and your shift lock make sure those are functioning properly and then from there it just uh, escalates up to the ABS module low battery and so on but uh, if you if you have any questions uh, about pulling this off uh, getting where you need it uh, definitely leave me a comment or shoot me a, a personal message and I'll I'll help as much as I can uh, but it's a really easy uh, straightforward procedure and the part was I believe 130 or 135 dollars I mentioned at the beginning uh, towards the middle of this video once I got the part in but you know fairly inexpensive considering uh, the dealer wanted uh, well one dealer in Fort Worth uh, quoted me 4.5 hours to do this another one quoted me three hours to do it at uh, $85 an hour at the one in Dallas and uh, I think it was 65 or $70 an hour in the one in Fort Worth so do the math uh, the labor was uh, gonna eat my lunch so uh, I decided you know what the heck I'll order the part worst case uh, it won't work uh, but uh, this it, it did and I'm pretty happy with it now just make sure when you contact your Volvo dealership give them your VIN number so that they can look up what gear shifter you have because these gear shifters come uh, all uh, plastic without the uh, inlay like mine has the aluminum inlay uh, some come with uh, a wood inlay two or three different I think a walnut and a redwood and some other kind of inlay but if you give them your VIN number they will uh, be able to tell you and can send you the part but uh, there you go guys uh, you know I hope this helps somebody out there it uh, certainly was kind of troublesome for me because I couldn't find any steps particularly on how to remove this and the trim pieces and get to this and you know how to reseed it but you know leave comments questions and I'll, I'll get back to you as soon as possible Thanks for watching.